Come on down and gather around. Let me tell you a story about how YouTube is screwing over small YouTubers. This is just a short video uh, kind of reporting my findings over the last few days about YouTube and their search results and the way their algorithm works with search results. So let's get started. As you can tell, I'm in the Microsoft Edge browser. I'm in private, so we're not, we're not gonna be logged in or doing anything involving caches or anything like that. No history. This is just a fresh private browser window and we're gonna go straight to YouTube. Here we go. Let me type it in. Let me grab the keyboard. I'm actually gonna grab it and pull it over here. All right, here we go. YouTube. All right, here we are, YouTube. Good old YouTube. Never let me down once, or has it? Let's take a look. Okay, so the way I noticed this is I've been making some videos past couple of weeks of the game called Phasmophobia, which is a great game. It's an indie game. It's a great concept and it's executed really well for, for what it is. Uh, I also noticed this with another game that I did a video for, Streets of Rage 4. I, I made a video for Streets of Rage 4 right when the game came out and the same thing happened then as well. So let's just uh, do a little test here. So let's do, let's do a game that I built my channel on or partially, Trials Rising. Trials Rising, good old Trials Rising. This game came out about a year and a half ago. And of course, I just do a general YouTube search result. Here we go. We've got Trials Rising and uh, the most popular kind of videos and, and uh, channels pop up right away. Uh, this is expected when you're doing a general search, you're, you're expected to see, you know, Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, all the, all the known people here, so. But then I click on filter and I can filter by upload date. So it's like, hmm, let's check out all the latest videos from Trials Rising across the entire world. Here we go. Look at this. No views, seven minutes ago. No views, 20 minutes ago. No views, 38 minutes ago. No views, an hour ago. No views, five hours ago. And it just goes on and on and on. Uh, a lot of this is the same guy, but there's, there's uh, okay, here's some other ones. Four views nine hours ago. This keeps going down. 11 hours, 14, 17, 19, about a day ago. Keep in mind, this is of a game that came out about a year and a half ago, and it was never even super popular to begin with. It, had, it was always kind of a niche game, Trials Rising, and um, it's it's got some success uh, with my channel, and uh, I've had a lot of good fun with it, but as you can tell, uh, the search function is working as intended. I do a search for Trials Rising, I filter it by the most recent uploads, and of course it pulls up a bunch of uh, channels and videos that are clearly not super popular. So that's kind of what its purpose is. So let me switch it up. Let me do a search for uh, Fall Guys. Let's try Fall Guys. Fall Guys. That's a pretty popular game, is it not? Fall Guys. It would help if I can type. Uh, here we go. Fall Guys. Okay, now we have a bunch of popular videos from a, a bunch of verified channels. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Let's do the exact same thing. Filter, upload date. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -boo. Look at this crap. Verified, verified. Oh, that's live. Okay, these are live. Okay, that kind of makes sense to put it at the top, doesn't it? Uh, streamed an hour ago. Uh, this one's streaming. This one's live now. Two hours ago. Live, live. Four hours ago. Five hours ago. This one's not even live. It's just scheduled. Six hours ago. Six. Seven, six, six hours, seven hours, eight hours. Why? Why is YouTube screwing over these small channels, the channels that are not monetized, have less than a thousand subscribers in a lot of cases? This is just ridiculous. They're, they're making it impossible for smaller channels to break up into, to break out into the more popular and more successful uh, venue that they want to be in. Because I notice this happening a lot whenever I make a video and it just doesn't appear in the search results. I understand if it's not like the number one result, like if somebody searches for the title of a game and my video is not like in the top 10. I totally understand. This is not a big channel. It's not huge. But the fact that it doesn't show up in the search results at all is completely ridiculous. And so I searched up Fall Guys, same, same deal as the next game, which is Phasmophobia. 
Yep, here we go. Phasmophobia. Blanket general search. Again, you have all the basic, all the uh, popular channels, popular videos, upload date. Okay, that's kind of recent, 47 minutes ago. That's kind of, kind of recent. But you notice that whenever you do a search and then you filter the search results by upload date, you're gonna see a lot of videos and a lot of channels that are verified, 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 verified. Apparently only the verified channels are even playing this game, which is a bunch of nonsense. So what I was hoping to do with my channel is kind of ride the wave of popularity from playing popular games like Fall Guys. And I could have some pretty good fun playing these games and making some good videos. And uh, I think it would be a good time and some good content. Fun will be had by all. But I have no chance of growing the channel whenever I'm up against popular YouTubers that have been doing this for a long time, already have a huge audience, and I'm fighting against the YouTube algorithm, which is screwing me. I mean, look at this. Seven hours ago. Eight hours ago. Nine hours ago. You mean to tell me that in the entire world, with YouTube being the most popular media site on the internet, in the entire world, that only 40 to 30 videos are uploaded per day of these most popular games, Fall Guys and Phasmophobia? I don't think so. That doesn't make any sense and it's stupid. It's broken, it doesn't work, it's dumb. So I, I uploaded a video about a day ago. It's a little bit less than a day at this point because it's like, you know, it's getting pretty late in the evening, but I, op I uploaded it last night uh, and it was kind of late, but it's been less than 24 hours since I uploaded my Phasmophobia video, my, my latest one, and uh, yeah, we're already, we're already beyond that point in the search results. We're already looking at videos that are a day old. Uh, so these actually take place much later than my video was uploaded. But of course, search and port, can't find it. I am not in the search results at all. So uh, basically, I reached out to... I reached out to Team YouTube on Twitter and uh, I explained the whole situation like, well, you know, COVID-19 happened, so we don't really have a lot of people that are like looking at the flagged videos and your, and your content might show up later, you know, sorry. But that's nonsense. That's complete nonsense, 100% nonsense because my video does show up. Let's do a search for Phasmophobia Oregon. We'll just include a part of my uh, channel name in the search see what happens. Look at this. Where, where is the word Oregon in this entire thing? The description? Nothing. Not a damn. There we are. There we are. 22 hours ago. That's what it was. Right there. Bam. Going solo. That was a pretty fun video. I highly recommend you watch it. Anyways, but you, you can see where I'm coming from here. Like if you're doing a search for the title of a video and part of a channel name, it shouldn't be like a page down. The fact that it shows up here at all is kind of amazing actually, because I did a search earlier and I was just like scrolling pages and pages and pages, and then finally it showed up. Uh, so it kind of went up a little bit, that's kind of cool. It just makes me really, really annoyed whenever YouTube is messing with the search algorithm. And I have a theory, I have a theory, I, this is totally unproven, that's why it's a theory, but my theory is that YouTube is trying to maximize the profits they get from ad revenue by funneling everybody into verified monetized channels that are really popular, even whenever they filter the search results by upload date. So that's why we have Phasmophobia, filter, upload date. By now, 52 minutes ago, in the last hour, nobody in the entire planet has uploaded a Phasmophobia video that's completely ridiculous to think and nonsense is not true. It's just not true. So if you ever wanna be successful and monetized and, and make a good living off of YouTube, my advice would be to not play popular games because popular games, you're gonna get the shaft. YouTube is going to shoot you down like a duck in the sky in Duck Hunt. This is just nonsense. I just don't know what to say. If you found this video and you searched for it, Congratulations, you have beat the YouTube search algorithm. I don't know how you did it, but you need a trophy. Truth of the matter is, YouTube is making it harder and harder every single day for small YouTubers to gain traction and gain an audience. It's just, it's very, very difficult because they keep trying to line their own pockets by gaming the algorithm to people that have already been monetized and already get a lot of ad revenue. 
So if you think about it, YouTube gets, I don't know how many millions of dollars from ad revenue, but imagine if there's like 100 million people that want to watch a brand new game that just came out. What do they do? They just type it into a search engine and they look up the most recent dates. In a lot of cases, they look at the upload date because you want to make sure you get the latest version of the game and not just like the launch version uh, and things like that. So what if they game the algorithm to where you're actually seeing only the monetized channel so they maximize their profits uh, and instead of those 100 million people getting the information as to whether or not they want to buy the game from channels that aren't monetized. Maybe they have fun and watch this brand new game on a channel that's not monetized that they're not subscribed to. Uh, that just, you know, they'll lose lots of money. That's a lot of money that adds up over time for YouTube. So yeah, I can see why they would do it because they're rich, greedy bastards and you want to make more money and they're going to hurt the little people like you and me. But that's all I got for this video. I don't want to go on with this epic rant. It's just a little bit frustrating because I personally worked pretty hard to get to the point where I can actually start making money off of YouTube videos. And now it's like I have to fight even harder because I have to fight against the algorithm, which is like killing me. So do people a favor. If you don't mind, if you see a video or if you're watching a video or if you're subscribed to a channel that doesn't have a lot of subscribers or doesn't have a lot of views, give it a thumbs up. Make a little comment in the video because it does help with the search algorithm whenever there's more activity, more thumbs up, thumbs down, stuff like that in the video. <sighs> but the point I wanted to make is that there's just so many good YouTubers out there that have very few subscribers, some less than a thousand that are just excellent. Support small YouTube channels, support small Twitch streamers, just do whatever you can, get the word out. If you see a small streamer or a small YouTuber that you really enjoy, get the word out, share their videos, put them on social media in any way, shape or form, because it really does help. Uh, word of mouth is pretty much all we have nowadays because the algorithm of YouTube run by Google is completely just like putting us all to the side when it comes to like the popular games. It's really, really, really annoying. And uh, it's not fair, honestly. I mean, that, that's basically what it comes down to because we're all trying to make a little bit of money off of videos. I think that's why a lot of people start YouTube channels and why a lot of people continue to make videos for YouTube is because, hey, one day I want it to be a, you know, a sizable amount of money I want to make one day on YouTube. That's the way, I, I mean, that's what I wanted to do, <laughs> at least whenever I first started. Because I, I love playing games and uh, I love talking about games and I wanted to make a little bit of money doing something I loved. So here we are and now we're dealing with this crap. So if you really want to stick it to the man, subscribe to someone who doesn't have a lot of subscribers, give their videos a thumbs up, leave a comment, and that's all I got. So thank you very much for watching. I kind of ranted for a little bit, so I apologize, but it is what it is. You saw with your own eyes. I'm not making this crap up. YouTube is screwing the smaller creators, but it is what it is. We got to fight the good fight, and I'll see you soon.